Hey, this is Carl, and welcome to another episode of Statues I Wish I Can Afford. So stay tuned. So for the guys who are new here, this is where I will be sharing pieces that I am currently interested in. Also pieces that I have passed on the pre-order this month. And pieces that I did pre-order or paid for the follow-up payments. I will also be sharing some thoughts on the statues on why I like them or pass on them. And you will also be able to see which pieces that I will be receiving soon. So without further ado, let's start. First are statues that were featured in the weekly episode that I am interested in. So first is this pretty darn good Logan soldier just got printed. And this guy was sculpted by Caleb Nepsen. This is a pretty unique concept of a Logan soldier. The other custom one is a museum type statue but that was sculpted by uh, Franco. Well this one is surely gonna be massive. I can't wait to see uh, this guy painted. I know the factory is gonna do a great job. Finally, the day has come that the prototype of this amazing superior Spider-Man has been revealed. And honestly speaking, this turned out amazing. Even better than the renders if you ask me. They definitely also captured the colors of the renders or even better. I actually get at least 5 private messages regarding this statue ever since I shared the uh, renders and more, even more now with the prototype being revealed. Gonna be an amazing statue for sure. Next is this incredible Hulk that was sculpted by the great Alejandro Pereira. I think I originally passed on this. But the scope just looks uh, too damn good as well as the paint so I might have to revisit this one. Although this is not an Ultron related uh, base statue, uh, I think it still matches well with my other Avengers because uh, the color theme of the base is quite the same. Here's another piece that I know I passed on the pre-order back then because it was just available as kits or unpainted statues. Well, it is still available as kits now but I see it painted and it honestly turned out pretty good. Very simple carnage statue but still looks amazing. Next is we have this Ronin Hulk. Honestly, this turned out great. Not usually a fan with samurai or Ronin versions of uh, characters, but I did fell for one samurai character, which was the Magneto one that I had on pre-order. But I must say this really turned out pretty good and I can't wait to see the full reveal. Next is we have this Ronin Hulk. Honestly, this turned out great. Not usually a fan with samurai or ronin versions of uh, characters, but I did fell for one samurai character, which was the Magneto one that I had on pre-order. But I must say, this really turned out pretty good, and I can't wait to see the full reveal. Next is we have this Del Otto inspired Spider-Man, sculpted by our friendly neighborhood, Steven Sanchez. He probably sculpted like 10 Spider-Mans by now. Anyway, I always have a soft spot for Del Otto Spider-Mans and this is no exception. And I can't wait for the full reveal. 
Next is we have another work in progress on the prototype of this bishop. So far so good. Probably the best bishop around. And honestly speaking, I'm a bit interested. But just gonna wait for the prototype to be revealed for now. Next is we have this Samurai Logan. This was actually mentioned in my top 10 Wolverines that is in production uh, this year, 2022. But just an honorable mention. Anyhow, this turned out pretty good and I can't wait to see this guy painted. Lastly on the pieces that I am interested in is this Shiho. So she just got printed and I still believe this is one of the better she hulks around. Pretty good concept and the scope is also pretty clean. Next are statues that I pass on the pre-order or no longer interested in. First is we have this Spider Carnage. I really really love this character due to some nostalgic memories uh, back then when I was still a kid. Anyhow, I think the sculpt is still pretty good but I think it lacks something. I don't know what and because of that, <laughs> I have to pass. And I'm also not really a fan of how the color pops or I don't know. Anyhow, I hope this statue gets made. Lastly is this museum type Thanos. As much as I want to pre-order all Thanos statues, I have to chill a bit on pre-ordering him. Very limited space and I already have a lot of Thanos on hand. But I still find the scope on this Thanos pretty good, especially the base. I really love bases like this. This is also a very comic accurate Thanos and should attract a lot of Thanos lovers for sure. Next are pieces that I did pre-order or paid for their follow-up payments. Also the next few pieces that will be mentioned is quite late since I've paid for the follow-up payments like a few months back. Anyhow, so first is we have this Berserk Wolverine or maybe a Wolverine diorama with some dead ninjas. And I think this will fit well next to my X-Force Wolverine with some uh, dead ninjas on the base. Anyhow, I paid for the third payment for this and I honestly can't wait for it to ship. Pretty sure it's gonna be this year, gonna be one of the best Wolverines around, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be the best one this year. Next is another Wolverine but this time it's Weapon X. So I paid for the second payment for this Weapon X and the statue is actually moving quite slow. But I think the studio needs to consider a lot of stuff like engineering uh, since Weapon X is floating here. Plus they want to make the thing on his back made out of metal so I think that's gonna take time if they really want to pursue that. And lastly is how they are gonna do the water effect uh, inside the tank because that's gonna make or break the statue in my opinion. I don't think filling it up with raisin is gonna help also because that's gonna make this statue pretty heavy. Next is this grail wing venom. Or is it too soon to call it the grail? Anyhow, I paid for the third payment and I'm really hoping that this guy will ship this year. I mean, there's a pretty high chance that that would happen. If not, maybe first quarter 2023. 
I've already prepared also my display for this guy, so I'm hoping that he would fit well. Last on the list is an unexpected one. So one of these future foundation Spider-Man was available uh, to order and it's actually also ready to ship. So I hop on it and I'm pretty excited for my first statue from this studio. This is their fourth Spider-Man to ship, I think. Uh, the first guy was a advanced suit Spider-Man. Then there was a symbiote spider-man and a scarlet spider-man and so this guy is the fourth one and the fifth one is gonna be an iron spider-man and all those five were sculpted by steven sanchez anyway uh you'll probably see this guy in the review table pretty soon so that's the end of the episode what do you guys think of the pieces mentioned in the video let me know if you think I've missed some pretty good pieces this month. Thanks for watching and see you again next month. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this.